This video is brought to you by Zyro. Constant lighting can produce some really stunning results. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how simple it can truly be to create images like this. Welcome back to Breakdown. If you've been a part of my YouTube community, you probably know me as a studio flash guy. And don't get me wrong, I love using studio flashes. But for the last couple of years, I've had a lot of people asking me when I would do some tutorials showing off some constant light setups. Well, today is the day. Let's get right into it and talk about the gear that I'll be using for this shoot. For my lighting, I'm using the Rotolite Anova Pro 2. I've been using this light for a little over a year now to light my videos here on YouTube. After seeing one of my favorite portrait photographers, Mark Mann, use the Anova Pro 2 at a photography convention last year, I was inspired to try my hand at taking some portraits with that same light, but using my usual style. I'll be using the barn doors that came with the Anova Pro 2 to control the light and ensure that only the parts of the image that need to be lit will actually get light. Now unmodified, the Anova Pro 2 is a bit of a harder light source, but not so hard that it becomes unpleasant. It's a really nice balance that helps you bring out the details in the subject's skin without going completely overboard. In order to fill some of the shadows that are being created by the light, I'm using the Lastalite Tri-Reflector. This is a bread and butter setup that I use with all sorts of lights and is always a go-to setup of mine. Before we continue breaking down the rest of the details from this photo shoot, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, Zyro. If you're looking for the easiest way to create a website or online store, then Zyro has you covered. They offer website templates that are extremely fast and easy to build and are quick to load. Not only are their templates good looking and responsive, but they are also the most affordable option on the market. With Zyro, you can easily manage all of your business in one single place, including selling products and services on Facebook, Instagram, and Amazon. Go to the link that you see here on the screen, which is also linked in the description. Use my promo code Miguel to sign up and receive 30% off for all of their website builder plans. Once you've made your site, use the hashtag Zyro so that I can check it out. Let's continue the breakdown of this photo shoot. I'll be working with Caitlin, who is a fantastic model here in Orlando with Makeup by Brianna, who you've seen in some of my other videos. Be sure to check out their social media pages that I have linked below. To take these photos, I'm using the Sony a7R IV, and I've paired it up with what might be my favorite lens right now, the Sony 135mm f1.8 G Master lens. I really love the compression and the sharpness that you get from this lens, which is probably why I use it as often as I do. Now that we have the gear out of the way, let's talk about the settings. I really wanted to get a 3D type of pop to these portraits, so I made the decision to shoot these at f3.2. This aperture allows me to get some detail in the skin while blurring away the edges of the frame, which gives me that three dimensionality that I love to get in my work. I set my shutter speed to 1 over 1 60th of a second and my ISO at 200. My white balance for this shoot was set manually to 5600 Kelvin and I set the Innova Pro 2 to that same temperature to give me the best possible color. Given these settings, I had to put the Innova Pro 2 at full power to give me the proper exposure in these shots. The good news is that anytime that you're using constant light, it's quite a bit easier to see what the lighting is doing to your subject. It's more of a what you see is what you get type of lighting, which is great for people who want to learn exactly how light works and what it's doing within the image. With that being said, let's take a look at the results. A few days ago, I asked my community here on YouTube what questions that they had in regards to shooting with constant light. I picked out about three of those questions and we're gonna cover them right now. Nilo Fido asked, my question is how do you prevent slash mitigate models distress by either or both, roasting hot temperatures from incandescent light 
and eye strain from bright lights that are always on. Now, a few things that can really help to prevent eye strain from constant lights is to avoid having your subject looking directly at that light for long periods of time. Let them have a break every so often so that you're not overwhelming them. And this would be the case pretty much with any kind of lighting that you would use. As far as the hot temperatures, that's one of the reasons why I really like using the Innova Pro 2. Uh, because they're LEDs, they don't get hot like traditional lights do. Continuing on, Nadia Brown asked, I'm really curious to know about light placement and what modifiers you used. I really love constant light, but I've honestly never seen it look this good. Really good question um, and thank you. Uh, generally speaking, I line up the bottom of my light with my subject's eyes. That would usually place the light source slightly above my subject's face. And then from there, I would move the light around until I get the proper amount of feathering that creates an appealing light. Keep in mind that the decision of whether or not to feather your light or how much to feather the light is gonna be different for each person that you photograph. Nick Eubanks had an interesting question as well. He asked, I bought a kit that has two 800 watt softbox lights that are 20 by 28. I played with them a lot, but I can't get that cool contrasting light in the face. It's like everything is lit up. Are my softboxes too big? Nick, I ran into the same problem when I started my lighting journey. Uh, my best recommendation is to do what I did, which is to use a single light source and then practice as much as possible to see all of the different types of looks that you can get using that single light. Try it with barn doors, try it with scrims, uh, bouncing it off of a white surface. If you take that single light and you place it to the left or to the right of your subject, the opposite side of the face will be in shadow and it's probably gonna give you that contrasty look that you're looking for. Uh, the best part of using constant lights is uh, in that type of scenario is that you see exactly what the light is going to do before you take the photo. Hope this helped you guys out. I really enjoyed shooting with these constant lights and I'm planning to do some more videos with additional setups in the coming weeks. I'd love to know if you have any questions that you'd like to see covered. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you've watched up to this part, I really need your help. I have a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers here on my channel before January 1st, 2021, and I need your help. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when my new tutorials and videos post up. Lastly, don't forget to check out Zyro and use my coupon code Miguel and get that 30% off deal. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn some of my favorite portrait techniques, be sure to check out one of the videos that you see here on the screen.